is Gloria Strode and welcome to Straightforward. Today we are on location at the National Infantry Museum with our awesome Senator, State Senator Ed Harbison. Welcome, Senator. Thank you, Gloria. Glad to be here. I Thank tell you, so you, I wouldn't be here if it was not for you. I had the pleasure of meeting your lovely niece, who's an educator, and didn't know she was your niece and she was working at a school and I walked in bringing something from one of our alumni friends and she said I am so-and-so Harbison and I said Harbison <laughs> and then she said you probably know my uncle and when she said your name I said if it wasn't for your uncle I wouldn't be who I am so I just always want to make sure that I give you honor and respect for all of the time that you invested in me allowed me to sit at your feet to learn the business of radio and TV, and I learned it on your dime. I mean, that says a lot. Well, I thank you. I thank you for becoming what you are because you had that in you all the while, and I just really appreciate the comments you made for me. Give me a little credit, and I really do appreciate that. Because, <laughs> no, you because deserve a lot of it was, credit. It was in you all the while. It was right, but you. you were willing to take the risk, yeah. and that's what we need more of for our young people. And I always try to share that with some of the millennials. Yeah. You can't always start at the top. But if you can sit at the feet of one of the masters in their field of expertise, then that's how you learn and that's how you grow. So it was definitely uh, a, 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 a pleasure and a privilege for you to you. allow me to do that. Thank you so, so much. So we're here at the lovely uh, National Infantry Museum. And of course, for people that might not know, uh, you are a veteran. Uh, you are a Marine, uh, a Vietnam veteran with multiple tours, and so your story is just a powerful story in itself. So you came from Montgomery, you went to the military, uh, media, TV, radio, and still serving. Yes. yes. So the Vietnam experience. We always teased yeah. about that. Yeah. You had your own band of angels. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 So yes. that experience was life changing. Yes. The, the truth of the matter is, uh, those of us who went to Vietnam mm -hmm. and, and were honored enough to make it back, uh, what we try to do and what I always have in the, the foremost of my mind is that never forget those left behind. Mm -hmm. Never forget those Army, Navy, Marine, Air Force, etc. Mm -hmm. You want to always honor them because they gave up, paid the ultimate price. Right. And those are all it, your brothers. Uh, that's, those are brothers and mm -hmm. sisters in some instances mm -hmm. in the hospitals. But the truth of the matter is, uh, it was a great sacrifice, 58,000 loss. Uh, mm -hmm. But those who served and made it back, uh, they deserved some honor. Mm -hmm. They deserve some 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 attention and consideration and every chance I get. And thank God I serve in a General Assembly that recognizes the importance of our veterans in our military. Mm -hmm. And every chance I get, I try to get on board with a bill or advance a bill or, or co-sponsor a bill that uh, works to that end. Yeah. And, and we know that, and I wanted to sh make sure we share those things. Yeah. I know that uh, you have put bills in place for our military children. Yes. So when their families are being moved around, yeah. they are not penalized. Yeah. So you introduce that bill, and then we have one for license plates and, yes. and some other things. Uh, some uh, Purple Heart State now, that bill uh, naming Georgia Purple Heart State, uh, at the same time bills that set up a, a, a substance abuse court for veterans. So oh, really? That's a okay. veterans court bill that I passed. Uh, with the help of my colleagues in the uh -huh. House and Senate, I want to be clear about that because right. it no, takes team. It takes a team. team. No, nobody it takes passed a team. the bill by themselves. Right. right. So uh, I, I was honored to be the lead sponsor on that bill. Uh, and one of the guys who gave the bill to me was in the House, uh -huh. but he, and, a, and an attorney, uh -huh. uh, he insisted that I carry the bill. So he drafted it and gave it to me in the Senate for me to carry the bill. And we passed that bill to honor. Uh, those people who come out of combat situations, and a lot of time they uh, they on a, they on a different set. Right, you know, they, right. They, they got that tensed up. They, they right, had so they're like, coming back with post traumatic that's stress. That's exactly they're right. They're coming that's back right. with other ailments. That's right. We have a lot of Agent Orange that's right. uh, that's illnesses right. from people from the Vietnam era. That's right. 
And of course, you went to Vietnam, right. and, and you are a Purple Heart. That's right. And I like to brag on that right. as well. Uh, and then, so when they get the license plates, those things are free. That's right. To, Fishing to the license, a driver's license. Oh, just, all free. The driver's all, license. All free. And mm -hmm. there are just a myriad of other bills for consideration of our active duty military. Mm -hmm. If you bring your spouse into Georgia, they say they are a nurse or something like that. We expedite that process to validate them and certify them in that particular profession. So, mm -hmm. and so we they're not being penalized exactly for traveling right. with their spouse. That's exactly right. Right, because, right. you know, my husband right. was a former military That's officer. Right. And people move around, and then your resume right. looks like you are a job hopper. That's right. And then so that's why in the government system, they will say if you are the spouse of an active duty or a spouse of a veteran, you'll get some preference. That's right. And that's, that's important right. that they do that. That is very important. Right. And uh, I'm, I'm just honored that, and I say this, uh, nonpartisan stuff. It, mm -hmm. it, military, uh, that get our attention, and we get on right. it. Right. We're all one family. We're one family. Exactly, one and that's family. what it takes. And uh, the truth of the matter is I was just ecstatic this year mm -hmm. when I got a chance to co-sponsor uh, co the retirement bill. Yes. The, the the taxes off the retirement pay. We've been talking about that, about that oh, for years. Man. You <laughs> talked about it on your radio show, Magic Talk. Yes, yes. Uh, you've got some other things done in the meantime yes. over the years, but that was one big one because we always talked about the adjoining states right. still in our right. good people, yeah. and they were going over building those nice houses. Because of that reason. And yeah, yeah, right. And yeah. so you all just recently got that in place, and I was excited, and I saw you on TV, and I was just cheering because that is important. That is it important. Is. It is and, very important. And, and they're, they're retired, not crazy, you know, right. they, and they follow the pocketbook. So <laughs> right, because they still them. have to live, yeah, right. you know, once they, they leave service yeah. and everything. Yeah. So that's just <clears throat> one of uh, the additional great things. And, of course, over the years, uh, you have supported our homeless veterans uh, long before yes. it was popular yes. and or trendy. Uh, I always bragged about how some of the homeless veterans would run into you downtown at the post office yes. <laughs> and you're trying to buy them breakfast, put them in a hotel, and they just wanted to have that conversation yeah. with you and just have that because special time. Uh, uh, but for the grace of God go I. You, you, yes. And you never lose it. You learn it from your parents, your grandparents, and your family, right. and your community. And I think it's something we should never lose. That's a good trait. You right. know, reach up there, there for the grace of God, but for the grace of God go I. Right. And, and you just, each one, teach one, reach one. If somebody's hungry, help them. Exactly. Help right. Them out. Not just pray for them. Yeah. We need to feed them and then pray <laughs> then for them. Then pray for them. All right. Well, what we're going to do, uh, Senator, we're going to go to our first break to our sponsors and we'll be right back. We'll be right back after word from some of our sponsors. Straightforward is brought to you by State Senator Ed Harbison, serving the citizens of Georgia's 15th Senatorial District and on the front lines for veterans every day. Progressive Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1952. The George Ford legacy of high standards continues today. In the compassionate and professional services provided, a touch of dignity for those who care. Progressive Funeral Home, 4235 St. Mary's Road, trusted by generations. Charmaine K. Crab at REMAX Champions Realty, 4800 Armor Road. As an associate broker of residential sales and property management, Charmaine takes your business personally. It's not about finding a dream home, but finding a home that is perfect for you. Call Team Crab today at 706-392. 6116. And welcome back to Straightforward. I'm continuing this awesome conversation with my great friend and mentor, the one and only State Senator Ed Harbison. Senator, uh, what is so good about you as a mentor is you walk very humbly in your gifts. Uh, of course, your mother was a very yeah. strong and humble yeah. woman and I was honored to know her as well as your wife. Um, but that's the thing that is the common comment about you. As I always share my story, whether it's solicited or not about you, <laughs> uh, people will always say, well, that's one thing about the Senator. He, he's very humble and he knows how to work across the aisle. Yes. And I'm always told that. Yeah. Uh, but I guess that's a part of that Marine training 
learning how, you know, that's my brother, it's your brother, and we have to do because it's for the common good. Actually, it was part of the mom and grandmama. Oh, okay, the real training. <laughs> the, real, the real training, the ground, grassroots, but right. it, that as well. Right. And it's just a, an idea that, look, it, you can't do anything too much alone. You mm -hmm. have to sort of work with the system, work with the people that you're trying to help, mm -hmm. and then uh, maybe you'll get something done. But at the same time, you need to have the discipline enough to go ahead and do it. There are going to be obstacles, obstacles against you. Mm -hmm. There are going to be people who may not see your vision right then. Mm -hmm. But as you plot along and get things going, usually people would say, well, maybe we need to revisit that and let's get on board and perhaps support his idea or that person's idea or her idea right. because it's worthy. Right, and it doesn't have to just be right. your idea to be supported. That, that's exactly we have right. to teach people that. That's so right. we have to see the value in somebody else's that's perspective right. sometimes. Right. Because they we all see things differently. They might see something we don't see. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Or something that we miss. Absolutely. Well I know that you over the years you have um, been uh, the speaker for the homeless veteran stand downs. Yes. Yes. Uh, we've worked very closely with Central Alabama VA yes. Healthcare Systems. Mm -hmm. They have a great team there. But even before they became fully involved with the stand downs, you were doing the South Atlantic Conference, right. which was a, no a nonprofit group that came uh, to do that here That's annually right. uh, here in Columbus. A lot of the homeless men we see on the street, right. and you and I talked about this some years ago. Um, and when we were doing Magic Talk. They are Vietnam veterans. They are. They are. And remember we had one that lived on the street in the woods because they didn't feel comfortable That's right. with being That's on right. the inside. That's right. And, and and I think we ought to be aware of that and treat them where they are. Right. You know, have the outreach, offer medical care, mm -hmm. and sort of bring them to the fold that way. A lot of people just feel restrained within certain environments where there are rules and regulations, but mm -hmm. that does not mean they're not worthy of being treated for COVID or treated for kidney, because they have medical issues going on. Oh, I know. We had one that was in on 2nd Avenue here in Columbus right. living in a tent. Yes. Uh, but again, we were dealing with people that had uh, post-traumatic stress. That's, that's true. Yeah. came back with being in that war environment in Vietnam, That's right. uh, having the nightmares, That's right. uh, not being comfortable with being inside that's because right. they were always on alert. And that's where that veterans court come in because mm -hmm. uh, you have all that going on in his head and he may not be adjusting or readjusting with his family, mm -hmm. uh, with his children. He's moody, he's sleeping, he doesn't respond well. It may be imbibing a bit too much and mm -hmm. things like that and it add to a situation where he may have to be uh, uh, confined in the in, in the in the jail or something right. like that. So you have because a, a lot of them court. are self medicating. That, that, whether that, it's drugs right. or right. alcohol. That's right. And then right. The, the, sometimes those episodes, it's because they are self-medicating, right. but it actually goes back right. to those issues. That's right. And we did have a, another friend of yours way back in the day, and he did counseling. I can't remember his name. He was off 13th Street, and he was one of the ones that did counseling That's right. for a, a lot of the veterans. Well, let me say this, too, and I really wish that some way we could just capture all of the and it's a good spirit among there are a lot of people in Columbus, Georgia, Homer mm -hmm. Watson, Mac McKinney, and I can I don't want to start naming names because right. there are just so many of them. Good troops mm -hmm. who are retired and they try to get the the benefits for the veterans who who are out there who would deserve them, but, but just don't, don't know how to don't do. Don't know it. how to go about doing, right. or they've been denied. Right. So they they because got, they don't got, know how to handle the proper paperwork that's it, and the buzzword. Right. That's and we right. talked about this uh, on your shows, TV and radio. Uh, for many years, there is a process. That's right. And anything with the government, we know is hurry up and wait. That's, That's right. the process. So we had to educate our people, and we need to continue, go back to doing that. That's right. That you start the process, it might not happen in 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days, but you have to stay in the system. Yeah. Remember, we kept yeah, having right. people that stopped out. They would talk to you, then they go talk to Congressman that, Bishop. That's right. They were talking to somebody that's else, right. and every time they did, it they was like going, over again. going back to that's square right. one, and then they would call you with frustration that's that right. nothing ever happened. Mm -hmm. So we had to teach them 
you know, how that system works. That's right. That's right. right. It's crazy. It's unfair. Mm -hmm. But every time you reach in there to pot and try to get a, a new answer and update, they right. start all over, over again, again, which right. is crazy system. Right. right. But, but I think that we need more people at the federal level uh, at those VA posts and things like that. Mm -hmm. I'm talking employees to deal with these issues, to expedite some of this backlog of people. Right. And I think even the current president has said, look, uh, we're going to take care of our veterans. And mm -hmm. I agree with that. Let's Absolutely. take care of military, the veterans, uh, the, the pay and that kind of thing. you got uh, people who, who deploy way over some foreign country. And the families here should be looked out for. Absolutely. In, in our community. And we should be having strong outreach things for them. And that's what we try to do at the General Assembly right now. Mm -hmm. It's a great process. I think we're very pro-military yes. in that sense, in the support sense, right. in the Georgia General Assembly. There's right. no doubt about it. Right. And right. so you've sat on many committees yeah. uh, in the state. Veterans, Military, and Homeland Security. I chaired that for years. Years, right. Still the vice chair of that committee. As right. Well. And then right. you're in some other halls of fame <laughs> right. and, and things like that. But we really have to, as you said, at the grassroots level. Yes. Because a lot of our citizens are not, uh, some are elderly, they got health problems, uh, they're not uh, informed enough right. to know how to just keep treading through the that's water because right. it's like treading water that's sometimes right. now and you can't get tired. That's right. You just have to, you know, just continue with that. So, um, your office, you have staff support. So when people have big issues, we don't mean little issues. We're not talking about where somebody's car is parked in Senatorial District 15. I'll listen to it. I, you'll listen to it, but that's a local issue. I have to explain that to people so because those are not clear on how civics work. So if you have that type of issue, that's how ha handled at the city level. Yes. But if they get big issues, then like you reached out to me on something that a veteran was trying to work on. Those are the things that your office, that's in your wheelhouse Absolutely. that we can help Absolutely. with. Well, what we're going to do is take our final break, go to our sponsor, and we'll be right back. We'll be right back after word from some of our sponsors. Carter Counseling Services in the White House at the Elms, 1846 Buena Vista Road, providing services to enhance the quality of life for clients by promoting healthy, stable interactions within relationships, counseling support to assist individuals in positive personal growth. Call Mr. Carter today at 706-570-8698. The Miley Agency, 4903 Armor Road, Gerald L. Miley and William Rip Singer have been providing comprehensive reviews and insuring families in Georgia and Alabama for more than 50 years. The Miley Agency will work nonstop to find you the best policy at the best price. You can rest assured that your information is secure, confidential, and protected. Call today at 706-996-2045. Vanessa Jackson School Board District 3 Successful Scholars Program, supporting students in achieving academic excellence, outstanding citizenship, and cultural enrichment. Believing in success for kids. Roz Cafe and Catering Services. Choose Roz as your personal chef, knowing every dish is prepared with attention to the finest details and extra care. She will make your next event one to remember with two convenient locations to serve you. 390 Batzel Avenue, Fort Benning, and 3418 Buena Vista Road. Visit RozCafe.com. And welcome back to Straightforward. I'm continuing this awesome conversation with our State Senator Ed Harbison from the 15th Senatorial District of Georgia, <coughs> and we're on location at the National Infantry Museum. If you have not been here, you have simply Mr. Treat. The grounds are beautiful. There are so many wonderful memorials. We have the Vietnam Memorial. We have a recognition of those lost in Iraq. This is a place that you must bring your family, particularly your children and any veteran that you know. Please encourage them to come out and visit. And I, I hasten to add too that it's a beautiful facility as you mentioned and probably one of the most visited if not the most visited museum in the nation. It is. We're, we're proud of that. We are very proud of that and this is a location where we have our graduations yes. where we're making new soldiers uh, on a regular basis That's here right. and preparing them to uh, defend our freedom. 
Senator, um, you have done so much in your service. Uh, and of course, we thank you uh, for being that Marine in that sharp uniform. I've seen that picture. <laughs> uh, and all those tours with Vietnam. We applaud you for the bills you've worked on. Uh, particularly, we're very excited. We finally uh, have that tax relief for our retired military right. so we don't lose them to the adjoining states. Right. We get to keep all of that great talent and tax money over on this side of the Chattahoochee. Amen. You've done so much uh, with the Purple Hearts, with our children, uh, if military students, when they transfer somewhere else here, they're not being penalized or held back. Right. The spouses, That's you know, right. they get the assistance if they're a nurse. <laughs> where they can go on and get a job. That's Those right. are just a few of the things. But we have, you know, here in Columbus, a lot of widows and widowers of, of uh, veterans. veterans that's right. And so there are some confusion sometimes when the spouse passes away about whether or not some benefits are still in place. Yeah, it is. It uh -huh. is for the for the woman or the man. Or, uh -huh. Of course, if the man, that's, that's a, right. if he's the veteran, you know, that's right. a moot point. But uh, the bottom line is, if you stay in your home and there's ad valorem attached to that so you uh -huh. don't pay because of the uh -huh. veteran status, that passes through to the wife Okay. if, if, it's that, if that's the context of okay. it. And, and, and that is something that we had to clarify. I worked with Representative Carolyn Hughley on that uh -huh. and she stuck it in one of the bills and we passed that bill. So we clarified that. In another instance, that was a, a an active duty soldier stationed here at Fort Benning uh -huh. who had been in combat, wounded, had a leg amputated, and applied for a, a Purple Heart tag. Uh -huh. And they told him that he didn't qualify because he was not a veteran. Oh my I, goodness. He was active he duty, is a veteran. I said, right. wait a minute. So what we did, we hurriedly I got I got the, the information, passed the bill, so it applies to if you got a purple heart, right. he is stationed active duty. Right. You are a veteran right. and you deserve <laughs> that you can wear that purple heart. Tag. Right. So, and see that's you, a, that's and, a confusion when yeah. people are not in the world yeah, of the military, that's right. you know. And that's so right. now people have to understand, yeah, if you active duty, yeah, veteran. If you retire, yes, veteran. Right. If you serve three months, you are veteran. That's right, you know? that's right. That's and right. so, uh, but a lot of the things we do know, and we've had them uh, on our shows over the years, is JAG. Yeah. JAG is also <clears throat> there. That's the legal team. Uh, and they have services for widows and widowers. That's right. Uh, they can get the wills done there. All of that stuff is very important, and it needs to be done ahead of time. That's right. That's because right. calling you, and I do know someone that called you uh, about when their parent passed away, and yeah. they had done some things, and they thought that they, you know, might be right. able to be compensated. <laughs> but all of that stuff has to be done on the front That's end. That's right. That's right. right. Uh, it, other things like... Uh, National recognition comes to Georgia. Uh -huh. The 12 soldier, 12 strong movie of guys came to Columbus Pennington, uh -huh. uh, Sergeant Pennington, and those 12 people who went to Afghanistan after the 9 11 incident uh -huh. and, 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 and brought a little revenge on them over there. Uh -huh. and they, they made a movie about 12 strong. Right. And they came to the Senate. I sponsored that resolution to recognize them. Uh -huh. And incidentally, Pennington was recently, Sergeant Pennington was inducted into the Georgia Military Veterans Hall of Fame, and I got the honor of putting the a medallion on. Oh, that, how that, that wonderful one. is that? These are true heroes. I mean, oh, yeah. And, and you hear those stories. Yes. I, you know, it, it, it just blows your mind. Yes. Uh, about and, what they did. And, I mean, and one of ours has passed away, Lonnie Jackson. That's right. We always yeah. heard his story about, you know, how he, whatever he did in place, That's running right. in running place. Running all night long <laughs> to keep him freezing to death. Right, oh, yeah, right. 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 And, uh, of course, he <laughs> made a lot of contributions. And then he in did. Columbus, uh, in the East Winton era, That's we right. have a That's Vietnam right. memorial that's uh, right. A park wall or, right. or something right. that's there as well. Well, we cannot take for granted all that you have done. And you know how I feel about you. Your children know how I feel about you, your beloved wife, Cecilia, and your mother. And I always so very proud to tell your story because you're very humble in telling your story. And Command Sergeant Major, rest his soul, Eddie Robinson, Eddie Robinson. I always got on you about that. Uh, but you would say to me, if you're doing it for the right reason, it's not always for the public. So I've learned that humbleness, that portion from you. But I've had this cap wow. made for you. It's wow. not designer. Wow. But the gentleman did design it for me. And uh, <laughs> I kept him busy for about two wow. hours wow. trying to figure it out. 
uh, but I wanted it to say United States Marine Corps, Vietnam, and what that, and he explained to me that this says that whatever Vietnam, because you know I don't yeah, understand campaign that. Campaign medals. And, right, all yeah, of that, had no idea. But I wanted to make sure with the purple oh, heart, wow, which I know that awesome. you have that on your cars that and things awesome. like that. that so awesome. I just wanted to present that to you, and I wanted to thank oh, you, Lord. not just for your service, uh, in the military, but your service to all of us yes, that live sir. in the 15th Senatorial District of Georgia. I want to thank you for being accessible, respectful, and humble, approachable. A lot of times being a senator or politicians, people are not, the citizens <clears throat> don't feel like folks are approachable. And I can understand that too. Right, and yeah. but, but you've always yeah. made yourself yeah. available uh, whether people see you at an event, whether it's the people serving at the that's event right. Right. or the people on the D's. That's right. So that's your claim to fame. And, and I would hasten to add in that context, that, look, if you call one of your congressman, bishop, uh, uh, Senator Ed Harvest and uh, Senator Randy Robinson, uh, Carolyn Hughley, Representative Smiley, uh, I'm um, gonna we'll get in trouble here. Richard Smith and right, Debbie and Vance, Buckner. And, Debbie and, Buckner. And, Deb, and, and yeah. Representative Smiley, his, he's on the chill right now yeah, until right, he moves to a next going, assignment. Going to the next level. Yeah. But I'm just saying, in public service, you get a lot of calls, and right. you may drop one or miss one or not get one right. or handling another one, so you can't get to that one. So if you call once, call again if they don't respond. Because any legislator working like that, they're gonna respond. Right. Uh, they, they're gonna respond. Right. Because you're there and, to they, serve the people. You're, you're there to serve the people, the people. and you need. To always keep that in contact. It's about service, not by grandstanding. That's right. just my idea. Exactly. Yeah. And like you told me, you better dance with the one who brought it. Absolutely. You. <laughs> Every minute. Every minute. Every minute. And I certainly appreciate that. Well, I thank you so much for your mentorship and your friendship, all that you've been to me and my family, and we will certainly do this again. Absolutely. All right. This has been straightforward. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Until next time, be blessed. <laughs>